Okay, so um, that is Her Majesty, Her Majesty of the Queen. And uh, what can I say? Uh, doesn't she look elegant, dignified, majestic? But let's get things back on track. I want to talk about the comments made by uh, uh, His Royal Highness Prince Harry uh, and the Duchess of Sussex, otherwise known as Meghan Merkel. And the comments what they made and the resulting uh, interpretation that there was some degree of racism within the royal family. I find, I find absolutely scandalous. I mean, totally scandalous. And it sort of reminds me of uh, you know, what happened earlier on. Uh, if you can remember, with all this uh, woke business, oh, let, me just, yeah. let me try and see if I can share the screen. So if you can remember uh, all this uh, stuff, what happened, uh, in the uh, summer of last year uh, with the Black Lives Matter and, you know, the response to it of just going around, tearing down monuments for the sake of uh, tearing down monuments. Uh, I've got something to say about this and I want to say it now. So, just because uh, somebody discusses what their baby may look like or what their grandchild may look like or what one of the, the, the family's new child might look like doesn't exactly make them racist, yeah? You know, have a look at Boris Becker's children, yeah? Boris Becker, ginger-headed guy, yeah? Uh, relationship with a black woman, um, had, had a, uh, how can I say, a fling with a black woman in a cupboard, I understand. And the result in uh, offspring uh, is a wonderful picture and quite obscure, if you like. I don't know. But, you know, who, who knows how the genes are going to mix up when the baby comes out? Who cares? Yeah? Just to discuss it doesn't make you a racist. That's what really gets me. This really, it sort of annoys me because the word racism is just banded about with people who have no idea, no conception of it. They just don't. They really don't. Yeah? Um, Anybody who knows me knows that I do not take, do not tolerate racism in any shape or form. Okay, uh, so just you know, so to, to say something as explosive as in, oh, you know, we were really concerned that they were making uh, uh, comments about what Archie, you know, how dark Archie would be. That is a complete misunderstanding, totally, totally taken out of context of some sort of conversation. Yeah. If the royal family were racist, number one, the queen wouldn't have danced with the uh, the African gentry during the time of apartheid, yeah, uh, in Botswana, for example. The queen has very close ties with the Commonwealth. You know, she was a great friend of uh, Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah, she actually knew him, proper great figures for Africans and, and black people across the world, yeah? Kwame Nkrumah, if you haven't heard of that chap, please don't even put a comment down on this. On this, uh, 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 on, on this video, because that just really make me mad, yeah? She had, she was, yeah, look how the royal family welcomed and embraced the Obamas, President and Michelle Obama, the first lady, yeah? M Michelle Obama felt comfortable enough to breach protocol and put her arm in a loving, tenderly way around the queen. And moreover, the queen didn't mind. Okay, the Obamas were a favorite of the royals. Yeah, contrast that, compare and contrast that with how uh, it went with Donald Trump and his first lady, Melina, uh, one, Melina Trump, or whatever her name is. Yeah, contrast that. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I'm the proud father of uh, two beautiful, beautiful twins, and I love them very, very dearly. And they are, and can be quite annoying. They can be quite annoying. Now, uh, these are my twins. I love them dearly. You will notice that the my ch my son uh, happens to be probably a little bit darker than myself. 
And my daughter is, well, lighter than myself. Twins. Yeah, that is the mix within our within our bloodline. Okay. More likely gone down my bloodline because my mother was Jamaican and their, their mother is uh, Ghanaian. Okay. But nonetheless, okay, the shading is gonna come out. Now, granted, it didn't really come on my mind uh, what the shade of my, my children were going to be like. Okay. However, an important point to note is that just discussing about it doesn't make you a racist. Okay? Doesn't make you a racist. So let's get back onto the main thing, shall we? Um, I think that that was mentioned mainly to boost Oprah Winfrey's ratings on that program. Wholly un unnecessary and the damage what it has done, the damage that is done uh, to the relations and within the United Kingdom. Yeah, because people are already a bit peed off about this wokeism. Uh, they've had enough of it. They've had enough of people telling, I am, as a black person, I've had enough of people saying what's racist and what isn't racist. Okay? That is not racist in any shape or form. Now, <laughs> had a member of the royal family <laughs> said, uh, if the child is of a certain who, uh, you better abort it, or if the likelihood of the, if the child is going to be of a certain colour or a certain shade, it must be aborted, yeah, then that would be a, 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 another matter entirely. But that's not going to happen because they got married and within a Christian uh, or organisation in a Christian country, and, and most countries, in, in a marriage in a, in a, in a union, uh, the whole point of the marriage and union is to create that environment for the next generation. The marriage is a union upon which your your bloodline is going to continue. Yeah. So the very fact that we had this big celebration about the wedding would suggest that they'd already known that, that she's going to have children. And it's the likelihood of those children of being of different hue is just in, inevitable. It is not a factor in the way in which they're thinking. Okay. It's very important. Yeah, there's not a single you know, every black family would have a discussion like that. It's, it's, it's nothing unusual. Uh, I grew up, as you may or may not know, I grew up in Dr. Bernardo's. Now, in Dr. Bernardo's, when I was growing up, I saw the result of many people who did take the racist uh, element and, and the racist uh, line, where I was surrounded by uh, people of uh, mixed heritage, simply there because their parents or, or families did not approve of the marriage union. And so the only solution they felt possible was to place them in a children's home, in an orphanage, okay? That's the reality, yeah? Not some sort of little wondering discussion as to, I wonder what color or, uh, Archie's hair is going to be because his father's got ginger hair and does it go down the line? Or, uh, you know, I wonder whether he'd be a darker hue or a lighter hue or cross the line or something. I would imagine that sort of conversation probably came from Meghan Markle in the first place. What with America and their tradition of their, you know, one drop of blood rule, yeah? But certainly in the royal family, that's just, that's just not the case, yeah? You know, the Queen's uh, private uh, um, uh, inquiry, inquiry, I can't remember the actual wording of it, but the, the, her representative uh, from the army was a Ghanaian, yeah? It was a Ghanaian, yeah? So how, how does that, how does that work out? Yeah, how does that work out?